All right, everybody. It is me, Johnson Chan, and um, I, don't know, I think maybe I'll take a little fun little trip and do a quick one on Jeff Bezos and the National Enquirer. I mean, I kind of want to just ignore this story, but I mean, it's already trending on Twitter. Jeff Bezos is a big billionaire, and let's be honest, you know, he got cucked pretty hard, you know, with his whole divorce with <laughs> Meredith Bezos, his soon-to-be ex-wife. Um, and it's a funny story because I thought about covering the origins of this, uh, and it turns out that a gay Donald Trump supporter, the brother of Jeff Bezos's current <laughs> uh, Latina girlfriend, is the one that started all this. So he decided to betray his sister and Jeff Bezos and cuck him in front of the world. So now Jeff Bezos is pretty fucking pissed, and uh, now he needs some revenge. So uh, I, I guess now it's spilling out of control. In fact, I would probably bet actual money that the gay Trump supporter, the brother, uh, not only did he get access to his sister's phone, and pro he probably released a text from the phone and the dick pics of Jeff Bezos. So, yeah. So anyway, Yashar Ali of, like, well, he used to work at CNN, but now he's at New York Magazine HuffPost. Uh, okay. Holy cow! In a medium, so, I mean, he's like a he's like a liberal guy, but Mike Sternberg says he's quite a fair person. So, in a medium post, Jeff Bezos says that David Pecker, I think that's the guy that owns the National Enquirer, and AMI, the the parent company that owns National Enquirer, threatened to release embarrassing photos of Bezos unless Bezos agreed to stop investigating them and released a statement saying he didn't have anything on them. Uh, he included emails in the post. So this is the one that I find a little weird. Like uh, the National Enquirer was trying to blackmail Jeff Bezos into making Jeff Bezos not blackmail the National Enquirer. That's the only confusing part. But you know, I'm not going to read this Medium post. But Jeff Bezos actually wrote a long tirade on his Medium account. Jeff Bezos, the wealthiest man in the world, who happens to be CEO of the second most valuable company in the world, published an email from an AMI. Top AMI exec noting that they had Bezos's dick pics and threatened to pump and threaten and threatening to publish them. I will ne never get over this. Um, so subject. Uh, okay, let's see if we can use some two hundred IQ pog here. There we go. Now we can now we can read this shit in bigger letter fonts. I am Marty. I am leaving the office for the night. I'll be available on my cell phone at nine one seven. Blah blah blah. However, in the interest of expanding the situation, and with the WAPO posed to publish unsubstantiated rumors of the National Enquirer's initial report, I want to describe to you the photos obtained during the news gathering. In addition to the below belt selfie, otherwise colloquially known as a dick pic, the Enquirer obtained a further nine images. These include a Bezos face selfie at what appears to be a business meeting, Ms. Sanchez's response, a photo of her smoking a cigar at what appears to be, oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, if you, it, it would give no editor pleasure to send this email. I hope common sense can prevail and quickly, Dylan. Uh, okay, so it looks like the Washington Post and the National Enquirer. I'm going to let you guys pause and read this. Otherwise, you can go to this tweet right here. Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to read this disgusting shit. Also, I don't want this YouTube to get flagged. So, because obviously it's going to convert my English to English text, and then the algorithm will take over and go, okay, this guy's talking about some seriously bad shit. Ban, 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 ban. Okay. I've already been banned twice. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. This is some... I don't want to see this shit, okay? Like, I mean, I would like to see it on a hot, naked white woman, because that's my preference, but every man has their own preference. This is totally not my preference. I don't want to know anything more about it. Uh, okay, number three. I mean, the fact that David Pecker and AMI were attempting to blackmail the richest man in the world while they are cooperating with the U.S. attorney on the Trump investigation is something else. I mean, I will truly never get over this post. Congratulations to Medium. Oh, boy. From the AMI non-prosecution agreement. What, what's this?
This is alleged extortionate conduct by AMI is, among other things, intensely embarrassing to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York and is not advisable to be intensely embarrassing to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand what this is. This obviously looks important. Um, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, a source familiar with the matter tells me that Levy and Singer, Marty Singer's law firm, did not know in advance that Bezos would be posting this essay, nor did they know that Bezos would be publishing the threatening emails that AMI sent them. They found out when we did. Wow. Who, who, who is this law firm? Jeff Bezos just broke the National Enquirer's business model. Yeah, he might very well have. Um, so this is number six. Source of Manitoba. Okay, we read that. So number seven. A reminder that LA uh, 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 Daily Beast and Swin 24 broke the story last week that Be Bezos has launched a private investigation into how his texts to Lauren Sanchez were leaked. That investigation led to all of this. Bezos leak probe questions mistress's brother in national right because I'm pretty sure yeah Michael Sanchez is an outspoken Trump support with ties to Roger Stone and Carter Page all right we're gonna have to actually read this who's also a gay Trump supporter uh, interestingly enough they leave that out here uh, of course there's a daily beast so of course they're gonna leave that out um, Top securities questions, Mr. Brother, as part of a new probe. Gavin Becker, Amazon's chief longtime person, appointed man confirmed daily police, says pro scrutinized Michael Sanchez, the brother of Bezos's mistress, Lawrence Sanchez, and a personal business associate of Trump world figures, including Roger Stonecar, Page, and Scotty Nell Hughes. Oh, yeah, so Scotty Nell Hughes is also quite attractive, even though she's actually older, but she does a very good job of looking, you know, quite attractive. Uh, let's see, where is her Twitter? Because I think we still follow each other. Wait, maybe it's listed here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, she changed her picture. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. But yeah, she's like older looking, but she, you know, I mean, it's a lot of makeup and, you know, it's obviously some Photoshop shit, but, you know, she does an all right job. Yeah. So anyway, I must be, I always have thought of someone else because sometimes you just confuse them all. Uh, so it's, it's not Scotty Nell Hughes. Ugh, I know, I know. Now I can't remember her name. God damn it! No, it's someone else, but that's fine. Also, she has a much bigger Twitter following. Anyway, I think she's at like 160k, 170k now. Um, Daily Beast first report: the existence of the investigation, which is taking place independent of Amazon and being funded by blah blah blah. Michael Sanchez's name bubbled up on the British security. Do, 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 do. Uh, Ashwa Sanchez, blah blah blah, former Reagan, yeah, blah blah. blah. Okay, okay. According to two sources familiar with Becker's investigation, Sanchez has suggested that the deep state, and specifically the NSA, may have been responsible for obtaining text messages from Bezos's phone. Investigators have not taken that possibility seriously. Sanchez declined to comment for. Michael Sanchez has been among the people we've been speaking with and looking at. Dr. Uh, Dave Becker, we prefer that. strong leads point to political motives. Okay. So I still think it's actually Michael Sanchez that leaked this shit, but the fact that he's trying to frame it on Deep State is pretty funny. Because Deep State is working with Jeff Bezos, so I mean, they, they don't need any more control over Jeff, right? And they want control over Jeff. This, is, this isn't that much. Yeah, yeah it's embarrassing. But, I mean, it's expected, right? Because people know that these two are fucking each other. So, of course, they're going to be exchanging, you know, sexy stuff. Like, the, I mean, when, I mean, for those of you who have girlfriends or husbands or wives, don't you do the same thing? I, I kind of hope you do, <laughs> right? So, it's like, yeah. But you know what? I like this Michael Sanchez guy. He's he's, he's a real fighter. He's going he's gonna to cuck Jeff Bezos as much as he can. I am 100% all for it, all right? Because Jeff Bezos... He actually recently banned a, you know, a thought, a coin to Roosh. Actually, I, I shouldn't go to his... Nah, fuck it. Let's see. 
Rouge Twitter. No, no, you better. I better not. I was gonna go to a Rouge Fees thing, but if he has like any racist or anti-Semitic tweets, you know, I don't want that showing up on my YouTube video. But he said uh, that a Twitch thought with you know a reasonable you know bo bo booby rack. You know, she got banned on Twitch because she said she only believes in two genders, right? Um, so I didn't actually know Twitch enforced that, which is why I stopped streaming on, you know, piece of shit Twitch.tv, which is owned by Jeff Bezos and Amazon. So, you know what? We, we, we got to hammer them as much as we can. Well, please, God, please don't tell me that's upstairs music. And, um, you know, hey, you know what? This, this won't make them lose money. But it sure as hell is embarrassing, and Jeff Bezos is willing to sue people and hire private investigators. So you know what? We'll make sure that uh, you know Jeff Bezos, you know cuck asshole Jeff Bezos, wastes as much time and money as they possibly can. Plus, the National Enquirer is pro Trump and they're pro MAGA. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna throw in my towel for them and do the best I can to help them out. So. Yeah, that's all I got for you. So um, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or a subscribe button on wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Judson Chan. Thank you all for everyone that's, you know, hit the subscribe button, because the bigger I get, the more damage we can do. You know, we can defend our allies, and we can go on the offensive and push any narrative that we want, you know, and just, you know, make Jeff Bezos even a little more embarrassed, you know? You know, stuff like that. So it's very important that you hit the subscribe button. So I got to make sure I get the keywords right for this because I think David Pecker, NAMI, and National Enquirer own all this. And then they have some sort of spat with the Washington Post and Jeff Bezos. So we'll see how the battle of the tabloids, uh, you know, works out. It'll be interesting to see if Donald Trump will try to step in and try to help out his, you know, um, his buddy uh at national Enquirer, so you know anyway um yeah i think that's it so make sure you check out all my other previous videos especially the rafer weagle on the jesse smollett update um yeah so you know we're already up here uh yeah so you know the cops are closing in on jesse smollett's hate, hate hoax so make sure you go check that out so thanks for watching everybody uh, I skipped a couple stories today because I wasn't very sure about how effective they would be despite the page views, so I decided to just ignore it. And one of them is pretty critical of Trump because of the so to address was, you know, just bad. I thought it was actually bad, but a lot of people liked it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it play out because it's not I'm waiting for the executive order on, on February fifteenth. And then a few days after that, and then I'm gonna go from there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, again, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, it helps it, it'll help save Western civilization. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, Mind Bigly, James C. Coin Crypto, 404 Coin Crypto, Jeff Bezos, he got cucked, but he ain't having none of it. So, you know. Let's rally to the defense of National Enquirer. They're pro MAGA, so that's our people. So you know, let's let's help them out, and make Jeff Bezos waste all his money. <laughs>